Hello, how are you? Welcome to See You All, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans. But now, in the world we live in now, I've extended it to the rest of the world. And in, for this week, for the month of October, I'm going to be promoting information for mental health. Because um, October 10th is the Mental Health Day, and um, I want to dedicate it. I think we all around the world have to deal with issues of mental health. And it's my, my way, way of saying that we need to prioritize and be proactive about strengthening our mental health. And it's, it's about choices we make, how we see our lives, the choices we make, choices to see professional, seek professional help if you need to, or choices to see your life in a particular way. For me, um, my mental health has been advanced and promoted and supported by my decision to see my world in a particular way and keep my eyes open. And today I want to talk about the blessings in the storms. I've realized that no matter what we are going through, no matter the challenges, and there are many, and I know it's huge, humongous, when we keep our eyes open, we see blessings in the storm, blessings in the challenges we face. For me recently, um, especially in the last two days, I've come fully aware of that gift. Uh, two years ago, I became, I chose to become very deliberate in terms of living an authentic life and a life of integrity, which means in my personal life, and professional life. I wanted to make sure actions I took, decisions I took were advancing in an authentic way, common good, well-being of others. I, 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 I tick off decisions I make under standards of absolute purity, love, unselfishness and honesty. Yes, when I make a decision in my life today, I take it off, I review, is this based on absolute love, absolute honesty, absolute integrity, and absolute unselfishness, those four standards. I've been doing that for many years since I was a, in, in, in my late teens, but I've started being very deliberate about it in the last two years. And when you choose to live your life by those absolute standards, it doesn't mean the rest of the world aligns. In your personal life, and your professional life. So you're going to run into challenges, challenges that will break you down sometimes because you'll be misunderstood. And I had some of those recently and um, broke down crying, you know, and, and my son, my teenage son came to me and said, mom, you do know that you can stop working here and I will get a job to make sure you continue to pursue your vision and your dream. My son, basically, my teenage son, told me he's willing to take a job so that I can stop feeling that I may be under deluge of abuse in refusing to settle for what I believed was not right. So my son was willing to, to go take a job to make sure I live a life of integrity and I'm on I, I stay authentic to my vision of a world of equality, social justice, a world that upheld every human being as equal because that is my passion. And I broke down and I cried. I cried because in the storm of feeling broken by battling and running into challenges as I, as I navigate a path towards an authentic life and a life of integrity, in that storm emerged my son as this amazing, amazing person. In it all, as I struggle, I've been used to raise a person. I've been part of a life, a life of my teenage son, who recognizes sacrifice is critical to, to achieving a vision and was willing to play his part. My blessing in my storm in the last two days has been my son, my son in who he's turning out to be. In our lives, no matter the path, no matter the journey, no matter the issues we're dealing with, no matter the storm we're facing, there is a blessing. 
if we keep our eyes open, our hearts open, our ear open, our senses open, there is a blessing. And my wishes for you as we enter the mental health month, <laughs> which I consider the whole of October, or the days, 10th of October, but I treat the whole month as a mental health month, is that your eyes, no matter what you're going through, no matter the storm in your life right now, I wish you, I wish you an eye opening, ear opening, sense, senses opening, intuition opening to tap into the blessings in your life right now. Because in the midst of storms are blessings. May you find yours. Thank you. Stay safe. Be blessed. Thank you.